New to VS Code are agents which you can use to interact with Copilot chat, such as at Workspace, which has context about the code in your workspace and can help you navigate it to find relevant files or classes. At Workspace can also support slash commands for specific types of questions or tasks. So for example, if I added at Workspace slash explain and I have specific code selected, when I hit send, it'll give me an explanation. To see additional Workspace slash commands to experiment with, just hit the slash button in the chat box. When you're using Copilot, try providing context to Copilot with the hash command here. So for instance, if we wanted to know how to run this project without actually reading the readme, we can just point it at the readme file and say, how do I run this? And then what we'll get back is an answer based not just on all of the knowledge on the internet, but an answer based on the readme file that's in this project. And if we check this against the readme itself, we can see it's exactly the answer that we would have gotten if we had, you know, read the readme. But you know, that's what AI is for, to do the boring stuff. Gone are the days of trying to come up with a commit message only to write new changes, updating this, or my personal favorite, fixing this for real this time. Because now Copilot Chat can help you generate commit messages. You can click the Sparkle action in the source control input box and Copilot will generate a descriptive commit message based on your pending changes. Commit messages are notoriously tedious to write, but since Copilot is your pair programmer, it knows what we've been working on. So there's a Copilot button right here, the sparkles in the commit box, and Copilot will automatically write a good commit message for us. And if that doesn't blow your mind, when we create the PR for this feature, why write a description when Copilot is perfectly capable of doing that as well? There is a brand new extension called VS Code Speech which provides speech-to-text support in VS Code. And it means that we can quite literally talk to Copilot. So watch me bring up the inline chat here and ask it for a new class with some margin and some drop shadow. And then I'm even gonna ask it to add that class to the buttons automatically. Create a new class, which adds some margin and a subtle drop shadow. And then add this class to the two login buttons in the HTML above. Copilot creates the new class and it adds that class to the buttons in the markup in both buttons at the correct place. All right, my button looks great and I'm ready to commit this. Inline chat now keeps all prompts of the current session. Here, I can state that I'm based on the US West Coast. And then I can ask to print my local time and the time difference with London. And since inline chat remembers where I said that I'm based, we get a code snippet correctly calculating the time difference between the two locations. When a failed command is run in the terminal, Copilot will now offer a quick fix to explain what happened. This can be triggered via the Sparkle icon next to the current terminal prompt. And when a code block has a shell language type, the run in terminal action is now surfaced on hover of the code block. And the inline chat can now reply with commands to be run in the terminal. Finally, Copilot can now offer CLI command suggestions via the control I or command I key binding when the terminal is focused. This brings up quick chat with at workspace slash terminal prefilled, which is optimized for suggesting shell commands using the current shell. 